on average, every tonne of steel produced releases 1.7 tonnes of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. At the same time, steel is a vital ingredient that powers global growth. It is an industry that the world cannot live without. Austrian steelmaker Verstalpina admit to polluting and contributing to carbon dioxide emissions, but they have also established themselves as a world leader in developing and using advanced technologies to reduce emissions in the steel industry. Verstalpina have three steel production sites in Austria. Its largest is here in the city of Linz. We have started uh, a very ambitious environment program uh, in mid of the 80s. Uh, since uh, that time we have invested more than uh, 700 million euros just in our environmental uh, machinery. To give you some indications, uh, we have uh, reduced the emissions on a per ton base in the last 15 years by roughly 20%. One of the key measures that Verstalpina adopted in order to reduce CO2 emissions is the use of waste plastics in their blast furnace process to replace fossil fuels such as coke, coal and heating oil, the common fuels used in the steel industry. More than 75% of the plastics used by Verstalpina is not suitable for recycling and would otherwise be landfilled. The waste plastics are first turned into specially prepared pellets and then injected into the blast furnace. In order to further reduce their carbon footprint, the plastics are brought to site using the company's own railway. The waste plastic used corresponds to more than a third of all the plastics disposed of in Austria. In 2007, Verstalpina commissioned the world's most advanced Sinter off-gas cleaning system at its works in Linz. Each year, Verstalpina produced nearly 3 million metric tons of Sinter, a key ingredient in the blast furnace process. Much of the challenge in cleaning up the off-gas stream from a Sinter plant lies in the specific makeup of the emissions, which is why so many plants are an environmental concern. Conventional technologies are not up to today's stringent emission standards. In response to this challenge, Verstalpina and Siemens jointly developed a filtration system that cuts 95% of the heavy metals and over 97% of dioxins. This technology is now being rolled out across the rest of the steel industry. Reduced carbon emissions can also be seen by the site becoming more energy efficient. Waste energy from the steel production process is recovered and used to generate 90% of the site's electricity needs. With the construction of a new power plant, within a year Verstalpina hopes to increase this amount to 100%. Surplus energy is supplied to the national grid in Austria and helps power the surrounding villages. Verstalpina's emission reduction does not focus just on the production process. One of the most important points is that uh, you should not just focus your uh, emission reduction efforts on uh, your plants. Uh, we have uh, to optimize CO2 emissions in a much broader way. We have to, to tackle uh, this problem with our customers. For example, working closely with customers in the automotive industry, Verstalpina has developed high-strength steel grades with lightweight materials for vehicle manufacturing. By reducing the weight of the car, they are directly contributing to the reduction in its fuel consumption and, in turn, emissions. Verstalpina is the world's first steel company to recycle both steel and plastics from vehicles. Roughly 85% of the materials found in an automobile in the steel production process. We recently developed the steel with a high strength, a very high strength of 1500 megapascal and with a very excellent corrosion protection. So this, with this steel, the, the cars are lighter and also safer and therefore they, they do not consume as much gasoline as before. At the plant in Linz, emission monitoring units measure various emissions and transmit the data online to the relevant authorities. The general public, too, is able to see Verstalpina's CO2 emissions across the whole production site via an online monitor. Verstalpina is one of eight key members of the Yulkos network, or ultra-low CO2 steelmaking. 
Yulcos is a joint effort by all large European steel companies to reduce long-term CO2 emissions by 50% over the next 35 years. This will be tougher and tougher in the future because we did a lot in the last years, in the last 20 years, and of course for the future it will be much more difficult to find further reduction opportunities. But in general I would say it should be possible over the next 10 to 15 years to reduce on an annual basis our CO2 emissions at least by 1%. Over 90% of steel industry emissions come from iron production in nine countries or regions. Brazil, China, the EU27, India, Japan, Korea, Russia, Ukraine and the USA. Producers from all these countries will have to work together if Verstelpina's efforts are to become industry standard. <laughs>